Merhaba arkadaşlar, Kötüneş kanalına hoş geldiniz. Yeni bir The Walking Dead serisiyle yine birlikteyiz. Kaldığımız yerden devam ediyoruz. En son arkadaşlar, Lee ile birlikte eczaneye girmiştik. Anahtarını ölü kardeşinin üzerine almıştık. Şimdi yanımızdaki bu Lily denen kızla beraber babasını kurtarmak için gerekli ilaçları almak için eczaneye giriyoruz arka taraftan. Şimdi şöyle anahtarla deneyelim. Baltayla kırmayı denemiştik. Olmamıştı. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Abi anahtarla açtık ama neden alarm sesi çaldı? Hiçbir fikrim yok. Yani sonuçta hem bizim anamızın babamızın marketiymiş burası. Aa bu şimdi bunların hepsi uyandı var ya buraya gelecekler. Sırtında tornavida saplı hala ayağa kalkabiliyor. Ta iki sokak arkadan uyanıp geliyor ya. Oğlum nasıl bir kulağınız var lan sizin? Nasıl bir ses kasıyorsunuz öyle? Hele soldakine bak sürüne sürüne geliyor. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Glad we need your help. Please hurry. Bir dakika biz ne yapacaktık ya? Ha, burayı tutacağız. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! What? Oh shit! Okay then. Clementine. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. The window is screwed. Go. I found something. Ana, şimdi ikisini arasında seçim yapacağız. Ya Dogu ya Karli'yi kurtaracağız. Da abi, ya şimdi çok mantıksız ya. Ya şimdi kız Karli ayağından yakalanmış. Abi gözünü seveyim bir tane ayağın yakalanmışsın bir ayağın boşta. Diğer boş olan ayağınla yerdeki zombinin kafasını essen sen aslında kurtulursun. Sana mermiye gerek yok. Dağı kurtarmam lazım. Ama hani iki seçenek sunduğuna göre illaki birini feda edeceğiz de kim, şimdi kimi feda edelim? E şimdi kız biraz taşaklı çıktı yani ne bileyim abi silahlı milahlı böyle direkt pat pat mevzuya giren biri. Dağın pek hani olaya girecek bir yanı yok gibi. Orada biz bir kardeşimizin ölüsünden anahtar almaya kalktık. Herif çabuk oldu bir bağırdı hepsini çekti üstümüze. Aslında onu salsak daha iyi gibi. Abi al ya şunu al. Karli al işte. Öbürüne dönemiyoruz değil mi? Get him off of me. Oh my god. Let's go. They got Doug. They they You got to move. Ç 
çekil lan kızımın üstünde. O kız bize emanet. Koş. Ayda. Adama biz ilaç almak için eczaneye girdik. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Lan oğlum, Libya'nın bizim kafamıza baltayı vuracak sandım ya. Korktum. Paran Libya demişim Kenya ya. Özür. Kendi kafamıza vuracak sandım. Cık, ne yapıyorsun? Ya biz şimdi adam için ilaç almaya gittik. O alarm o yüzden çaldı. Biz adamın hayatını kurtarmak için tehlike attı kendimizi. Adamın yaptığına bak. Direkt seni pislik dedi. Sövdü bir de. Vurdu yumru attı bizi oraya. Ayıp bir şey ya. Uzaklara daldık gittik ama ne vardı ki? Ne yapıyoruz etrafa bakıyoruz böyle bir gidiyoruz. Hey, I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Ya bir yolun açık olsun ne diyelim. What you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Kader Reis gitti abi şimdi. Ya iyi elemandı. İşimize yarardı da gitmeseydi keşke. Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah. Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Tamam şimdi sırayla herhalde herkese bir konuşacağız böyle. Ha şu an gitmediğimiz yerlere gidelim şöyle. Ha şu kıza gelelim. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. 
I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Bunun yanında başka bir şey var mı? Tamam çocukların yanına gidelim bir de. Ha bu eleman niye bize böyle bakıyor ki kardeş? Şimdi ona ilaç aldık yani. Ve yumruk vurdu gözünüzün üstüne. Hey Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Can you just look over there? I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Mm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. Abi niye seviyorsun Allah Allah? Ben kızını aşk anlamına sevmedim ya. That's right. I know who you are. And I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once. And so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? I remember when I packed them up, I said, oh, these are going to be important. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oğlum. Lan ışıklar sönünce öyle bir kaldı ya şey gibi. Bu arada bir başarım daha kazandık. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore whenever we thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> no more, please! No more, please! Lee, please! <laughs> <laughs> Ha şimdi e, birinci bölümü bitirdik. İlk oyunun birinci bölümü bitti. İkinci bölümüne geçeceğiz. Az önceki gördüğümüz görüntüler de ikinci bölümden kesitlerdi. Şimdi birinci bölümün bir değerlendirmesini yapıyor. İlk e, kısmında diyor ki dürüstlük demiş. Herschel'e yalan söyledin mi demiş. 
e, sen ve diğer %63'lük bir kesim dürüst olmayı tercih etmiş diyor. E, who would you save diyor. Kimi kurtardın diyor. Duck'ı mı yoksa Shawn'ı mı? İşte Duck bizim Kenny'nin o küçük olan. Shawn da Herschel'ın oğluydu. Biz e, Shawn'ı seçtik. Onu kurtarmayı denedik. Yani biz ve %47'lik bir kısım yani çoğunluk Duck'ı kurtarmayı seçmiş. Biz e, Shawn'ı kurtarmayı seçtik. Loyalty demiş, sadıklık demiş, Kenny'nin tarafında oldum mu demiş. Ben ve benim gibi %48'lik bir kesim Kenny'yi savunmuş. Yine aynı azınlık kısımda sanırım burada da. Mercy demiş, yani merhamet demiş. İren diyor, bu oteldeki hani zombiye dönüşmek üzere olan kız vardı ya, silah istiyordu, kendini vuracaktı falan. İşte biz ona silahı verdik mi diye soruyor. Ben ve yine benim gibi %55'lik bir kısım. E, silahı ona teslim etmiş. Mi? Yok. Refuse neydi ya? Unuttum onu. E, da bir sonraki soru demiş ki Who would you save demiş. E, kimi kurtardın? Doug'ı mı Carly mi? Çoğunluk Carly'yi seçmiş. %76'lık bir kısım. Da bu Refuse neydi? Buna bir bakayım hemen çeviriden. Yani sonuçta İngilizcemiz mükemmel olacak diye bir şey yok. Arada da böyle bu şekilde bilmediğimiz kelimeler de çıkıyor. Önemli olan bilmemek değil, araştırıp öğrenmemek. Ha, reddetmek demekmiş. Ee, ha, silahı İren'e vermemişiz. Yani refuse, biz reddetmişiz silahı vermeyi. Tamam. Yani %55'lik kısım vermemiş silahı. Neyse tıklayalım bakalım. Ee, böylelikle ilk bölüm olan yeni bir gün bitti. Bu arada çizgi roman yazarı Robert Kirkman ve işte diğer isimlerini falan yazıyor. Daha sonra oyunda emeği geçenlerin isimleri yazıyor da burayı geçemiyoruz, atlayamıyoruz mu? Pardon oyuna devam etti abi. Burayı atlayamıyoruz mu ya? Allah Allah. Buraya atlayamıyoruz mu? Neden atlayamıyoruz bilmiyorum. Bak zombilerin seslendirenleri falan var ya. Abi böyle saçmalık olur mu? Yani i̇ki saat bunu yazsın mı izleyeceğim? Hayır abi. ilerlememi silme de yani. Ben buraya atlamak istiyorum. Yani neden geçemiyorum? Hani... ESC'ye basınca beni ana menü atıyor. Mouse'un tuşuna bastığım zaman herhangi bir şey olmuyor veya da ne bileyim. Yani basıyorum, şeyler yok. Hiçbir tuş çalışmıyor. Bu arada oynayanların seslendirenlerin isimlerini falan yazıyor da yani anladım. Hani bunları daha sonra baksak olmuyor mu? Hani en son oyun bittiği zaman Bölüm, her bölüm bitince böyle olacak mı bu ya? Yardıma hasret diyor. Oynayalım bunu. Bir dahakine ana menüye gelip buradan bölüm seçelim ya. Bir dahakine böyle uzun uzun yazılar izlemek zorunda kalmayalım. Bir türlü geçemedik de. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. Birinci bölümde olanları gözü tarihinde gösteriyor. You've been... All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. When you got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. 
Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Ormanlık bir yerde başlıyoruz oyunumuza. Ali'miz yine buradaymış. Yanında bir eleman daha var ama. Ha bu birinci bölümden 3 ay sonra yani. Ovalilik başlamasından bu yana 3 ay geçmiş. Ve biz de zombinin kafasına vuruyoruz. Beni biri var sandım yanımızda. Ya bu eleman kim? What they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe we should have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Abi, Kenny, we'll Kenny won't ya. abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Knock me flat. Helan, gözümüzün üstüne vurdu. Orada zombilere terk etti ya bizi. Abi gürültü çıkarmasak daha iyi ama. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Biri bağırıyor. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. 
My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. There's got to be something we can. Abi, o bacak kesilecek bu arada. Lee, do something. Gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to cut the chain. Asıl zinciri kesebilir miyiz diyor ne abi? Balta işte nasıl o zincire ben sana diyeyim. Lan şaka maka burada ayı tuzan ne iş var ya? Yalnız bacağı kesiyoruz da tank hayvanından gitmesi iyi bu herif. Lee, it has to be now. Oğlum herifin göz bir açıldı var ya. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. Oğlum her baltayı vurduğunda bilgisayar hafiften bir kastı lan. Oh Shit. Is he? He passed out. Abi ölmedi bayıldı da. Kan kaybından geberir bu herif ya. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Behind you. Travis! Come on, come on. We got to move. Lan kaçsana da var. Allah belanı vermesin. Allah no! özel kuvvetlerde olan herife bak amına koyayım sen ne geziyorsun orada lan? Sakat kaçsana. Arkanda diyor bu da bize mal mal bakıyor hala. Arkasından geleni görmüyor. Götünü kollamayı bilmiyor ya. Abi gözün seveyim sesle mi kasmıyorsun? Arkandan ayak sesi gelmiyor mu? Duymuyor mu? Babam özel kuvvetlere dedin yarak gibi öldün ya. Gözünü seveyim git orada öyle öldür mü ya? Arkandan geleni giden duymuyor mu sen? Orada niye sik gibi dikiliyor? Ya böyle mallarla uğraşacağımız ölsünler daha iyi anasını satayım. Burada zaten millet birbirini yiyecek aç, açlıktan. Yazık garibim Clementine varille top oynuyor. Kopsuz karda olsan 8 diyormuş. Get the gates open. We've got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on. Come on. Oh God. What happened? have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking... I would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. 
everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. Michael's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Lan yiyecek paylaştırmayı da bize verdi. Lan öbür adam öldü yalnız var ya. 10 aç insançı sadece 4 parça yemeğim var. Abi 10 aç insan tamam mı? Bunu ikiye bölsek 8 parça çıkar oradan. 8 parçadan biz 10 kişiye nasıl bir yemek vereceğiz? Ana harbi bu kadar çaresiz miyiz lan biz? Bir elma, bir çikolata mı var elimizde lan? Anasına uğradın şuna bak. Oğlum biz o dört parçadan iki parça şey çıkaramaz mıyız? Yemek ver konuş. Abi önce şu adam durumu nasıl onu bir soracağım. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Şimdi abi ben çocuklardan başlamak istiyorum yemek dağıtmaya. Çünkü çocukların direnci az olur, yetişkinler dayanır. Bu arada alınmayın ama How you doing Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? Bir dakika bunları konuşsun da. Can you help me find it? Tabii. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Şimdi, ee, ne diyecektim? Ha, çocukların direnci yoktur. Hani açlığa önce çocuklara vereceğim yemekleri. Şimdi bir de şöyle bir şey var. Yani... Siz hayatınızda tabi hiç oruç tutmadığınız için açlık nedir bilmiyorsunuz. Açlığa dayanmayı da bilmiyorsunuz. Sizin açlık sınırınız da yoktur. Ama yani o benim sorunum değil. Ben çocuklara vereceğim yemekleri. O yüzden Clem'e vereceğim ben bir tane. Hey Clem, you need something to eat. Bir parça et, krakeller ve peynir ver. Yarım elmayı ver. Ah, vitamin olsun. Sana et vereyim. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <gülüyor> Han et buldu sevmiyor ya. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, when are we gonna get some food? Hey Duck. Ah, I'm out a little food. Ah, sen de bunu al. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Geç o sen doyurmaz da. Hadi şu elemanı da verek ya. Ben acıdım bunu. Want something to eat? Ha, Here, sana bir yarım elma verelim. After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick me up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really, I really appreciate it, man. Çocuklara verdik. Ya bunda ben yiyeceğim ama 
o kadar avam ava çıktık arkadaş. Biz de kendimiz alalım bir tane. Acıltma anası satayım. Bulursam veririm seni bir şey. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kitty, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kitty. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. Yeah, book you yeah, keep treating people like this, this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Şimdi şunlarla biraz konuşalım. Çocuğu ne yapalım ya? If it were up to me, I'd let him stay for a while, see if he proves to be an asset. But that's up to Lily, and with her in charge of the food, I don't want to get on her bad side. Sorry I ran out before I could give you any food. Hey, don't feel bad. I'd almost rather starve than eat most of that stuff. Besides, you've done plenty for me already. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. Tamam bunlar konuştuk. Şu elemanla konuşalım. Neyin nesiymiş? Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. Arkadaşının mı öğretmenin mi oğlum? Karar ver sen de. Can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Tam baş söylemek istediğim bir şey var mı? Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Tamam, söyleyeceğim bir şey yok. Biz şöyle gidelim şu taraflara doğru. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Abi, ne bağırıyor? <sighs> I'm sorry, Larry. There's nothing left. Go piss up a flagpole, Lee. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Mary, zaman pek what geçmedi. is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Ah! 
Anasını satayım lan ne oldu adam öldü. Bas. Lan çık ana adamın göze bak lan. Oğlum çık lan çık çık çık. Ha, vur vur kafayı vur. Bir sağa bir sola bir sağa bir sola vuracak o kafayı. Move move. Oğlum niye boşa salladın onu? İttir lan şunu ittir ittir ittir ittir ittir. Vur lan kafasına vur şunu kafaya. Yılan gibi kafası var. Kaç kaç biz kamyonu aşağı düşecek at bizi. Oğlum nasıl da varsın lan diye. Öf. Adam gözünü oydu. Öf. Vur lan şunu. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, We were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Uh, me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Şimdi gidelim mi gitmeyelim mi? Ya burada açtan gebeririz biz, biz büyük ihtimal de. You got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for later? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? You've got to let go of that guilt. The Lee I know is a good man. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. 
I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Ben. I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Şimdi böyle dedik ya adamlar böyle bizi ezik bir şey sanmasınlar. Hani azıcık taşlamızı ortaya koymak gerekiyor. Quite frankly, we could always use an extra help in hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are else. they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. They and you guys were keeping it there's all to yourselves. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot more of them. Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Bit we close to the Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. 
Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Şimdi e, şöyle bir ya şöyle duracağım oyuna. Ya bu oyunda şöyle bir politikam olacak benim. E, şey Hedebali'nin Osman Gazi dediği o öğüt geliyor aklıma. Tabi nereden geliyorsa bilmiyorum. İnsanı yaşat ki devlet yaşasın sözü var ya. Şimdi ben o politikayı güdeceğim bu oyunda. Yani bu oyunda olabildiğince insanları yaşatmaya çalışacağız. Yani insanı yaşatacağız ki biz yaşayacağız. Hani elimizden geldiğince insanları ölüme terk etmemeye çalışacağız. Önce salıncağa mı baksak? Ne yapsak? Etrafı inceleyeceğiz. Dur bakalım bir ne var ne yok. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <gülüyor> I'll bet. How did break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yani şimdi biz bunu e, bir tane halat ve tahta bulacağız da. Ondan önce şöyle etrafa bir baksam. Ulan abi şu kapıyı ne yapıyor o kapı? Yukarıya mı gidiyor? Well, hi there Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Well, how many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. It's what happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. 
Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Şimdi tamam ee, şöyle bir şey var. Eğer şeyi sorguluyorum ki hani etrafta ters bir şeyler varsa bir e, şey yapalım hani ona göre önlem alalım. The world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Tam camdan içeriye bakabilecek miyiz diye baktım yok. Şu tarafta bir şey var mı? Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Tamam burası bu kadar. Geri kapıyı çalsam bu sefer yine aynı kadın çıkacak. Değişen bir şey yok. Kadınla konuştuk. Tamam. Salıncak için bir halat ip lazım. Şimdi şu elemanla bir konuşalım. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright. Keep me posted. Şu çite bakalım. Bu çitte bir şey var mı? Hmm. Yani nokta olunca ne oluyor? This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Tamam, bunu keseceğiz şimdi. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Şimdi çete dokununca büyük ihtimal kızarıyoruz, yanıyoruz baya. Bu elemanla konuşalım bir de. Ağzını yoklayalım ne var ne yok. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks. Uh, trading for gas and food but ultimately they moved on looking for the people they lost contact with Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now Oh good the fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there You know Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators Well that'd be great I'll turn off the northwest section and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points well that'd be a big help Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Abi salınca yapmadık ama. Önce salınca mı yapacaktık? So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but... Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. 
Relax. You're not making things any better riling them up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. It's burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee. Hadi Bismillah, kaldırdık. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate. Oh, come on. Get down! You Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! You got lucky that time! Come on, let's go! Oh, let's turn the tractor on! Show yourself! Hold it there! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Tell yourselves. Ain't lying. I already got one of you. We had a deal. I see him. Where's our food, you Come asshole? Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the move. Shit, that hurts. Oğlum çınarlıklar da görünmüyor var ya. Yavaş lan kafama geliyor. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Ya 
Ya ananın namına gidiyoruz diyeceksin. Orospu bu çocukları bir susun la. Another one. How many of those things did we push down? Ay anasını sattım ölmemiş. Bas kafaya bas. Ok gelecek anasını satayım. Adam var ok ya. Okunan avlanıyorlar. Ne kadar mutlu ilkel kabilesi sizi. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Am bu arkamızdan geliyor. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches, go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? There's those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Ya şimdi şöyle bir ibrelik sezdim ben. Abi o haydutlar sadece ok atıp arkamızdan bağırdılar. İsteseler peşimizden gelip bizi sikerdiler. Bizi de öldürebilirlerdi. Neden böyle bir ok atıp kaçmak şeyinde kaldılar ben onu anlamadım. Burada var bir puşluk ama ben hadi hayırlısı. Şimdi ne yapacağız abi? Bu elektrikli çit niye çalıştı? Harbiden abi bu biz dışarıdaydık. Siz niye bunu çalıştırdınız ki? Oh, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Tam bunlar işimize yarayacak ki öyle bir bakındık. Yani kullanabiliriz aslında. Şu kapının içerisinde ne var abi? 
Bu ne abi? Saman yığını. Ne var abi o saman içinde? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Arkada bir şey mi var abi? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Tamam, en azından oradan mısır neyim alırız? Ee, aç kalmayız en azından. Bir şeyler eker biçeriz. Saman balyaları var abi. Balyanın içinde bir şey var mı? Lots of hay. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows if that becomes a problem. Yani siper olabilir aslında oklar için. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Ağrın içine baksaydık bari. Neyse bakıtmıyor belli ki. Abi biz o tarafa gidebiliyoruz mu lan? Şu lillerin o tarafa. Dur gidelim bakalım. Bir de onlarla konuşabilirsek bir onlarla konuşalım. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Yani şu elemanla konuşabiliyoruz mu? Pek bizde konuşmaya suratı yok gibi. Oğlum adamlar bile çardağı var ya lan. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Harbi mi reis ya? Tamam oğlum buralarda bir şey yok ki. Daha fazla neyine duruyoruz biz? A Clementine. Gel bakayım buraya. Sen hey, nasılsın lan? Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Tabii lan. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah, I mean, need it. Sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah. Okay, duck. Don't pop a gasket. 
Tamam. Clement Island'da konuştuğumuza göre şimdi e, Haydutlarla beraber gideceğiz. Ama burada bırakıyoruz oyunu. Artık bir sonraki bölümde şu marka o ok katan o bu tarzanları, bu manyakları bir bulalım kimmiş, neciymiş öğrenelim. Bir sonraki bölümde tekrar görüşmek üzere arkadaşlar. Hepinize hoşça kalın. Bay bay.